Hey guys, what's up? It's Dean. Welcome to Manflow Yoga and welcome to Members Area Mondays. And this is where we show you a featured workout from the Manflow Yoga Workout Library. This week's workout is the Muscle Activation Workout. And this is a workout that has been helpful for so many people who didn't know they needed this video, who didn't know they needed this muscle activation. So the problem is that we sit during the day and our muscles get inactive. This workout focuses on activating all of those dormant muscle groups. So check out the video, let me know what you think. Let's start off. We're gonna go, first thing we're gonna do is working on your core. So core, if you don't work your core, your back is going to pick up that work. So causing lower back pain when your core doesn't turn on. The easiest way that I know to work on your core, start off on your back, bring your knees in toward your hips, squeeze your legs together, and then lift your chest just slightly. So you're lifting your sternum off the ground and you should feel your core engaging. Think of reaching your tailbone in front of you. You can bring your hands to your neck if you want just to support your neck so there's not as much stress there. And you're focusing on tightening the front of your stomach. So this, these, the core, okay? So your, your abdomen, um, the muscles that all make up your abs. So you've got the muscles on top. You've also got some layers of ab underneath. You also have your obliques on the side. So there's a lot going on in your abs. We need all of that so that you're not hurting your back. That's the first step. Number two is adductors, and these are the muscles inside your thighs. So the way to do this is to put the block between your legs, squeeze your legs together, so really tighten that block within your thighs, and you should feel the muscles on the insides of your legs engaging. That is how you can engage your your adductors, okay? And one way to also do this, we're gonna plant the feet from here and then lift the hips and then really squeeze the block. So here's a good way to build on top of that, working your adductors. And you can just relax your shoulders down, relax your head down in this position and focus on squeezing your legs together. All right, that's number two. Number three, hip flexors. So hip flexors, don't always engage. A lot of the time we'll just use our quads. So your hip flexors are located from your mid thigh and attached to your back, okay, attached to your spine. Your quads are located mid thigh to your knee and they attach to your knee. They help your knee extend. Your hips help, your hip flexors help your hips help you lift your leg like this. So the way we're going to test this, stand on one foot, Stand on your left foot. We're gonna focus on the right hip flexor. Bring your knee up to hip level. Relax your right heel. So relax your quad. Don't extend the leg, just keep it relaxed. And then press your thigh into your hand and your hand back into your thigh. Okay, so you're just doing this. And you can also do this from a seated position. So if you'd like sitting in a chair, or for my case, sitting in a block, you're gonna sit up tall and then lift your knee. Okay, and if you feel right here in the top of your hip, the front of your hip, right around your waist, engaging, that's what you want here. And you can also try that for the other leg. So again, you can try it from a balance where you're pushing the hand into the thigh, the thigh back into the hand and relaxing in the quad. You can also do it from, again, that seated position. So sitting up nice and tall and then lifting the knee just a couple inches, lifting the foot a couple inches off the ground, pressing the hand to the thigh here if you'd like. Okay, next exercise is for your glutes. For this, we're gonna get down onto our back. And the reason you want your glutes engaging is because if your glutes are not working, that's putting additional stress on your lower back. It's also putting additional stress on your knees. So we wanna focus on the glute engagement so we can transfer the stress of a squat or a lunge to your hips instead of your knees. So for this, we're gonna go back into that bridge position that we had earlier, okay? So your hips lifting up, pushing down through your feet, tailbone reaching toward your knees so that you're not just using your lower back to lift here, but you're using your core. 
and then just extend one leg forward, okay? So pressing the heel forward. You don't need to bring it up way up high like this. It just needs to be about a foot off the ground. And then grab your left buttock here, okay? So the foot that's planted, grab the buttock. Make sure that that's hard. Make sure that that's engaged. And that's how you activate your glute. Then you're gonna switch sides, extend the left leg, make sure your hips are level. Grab your right buttock now. Make sure that that glute is firing, that it's engaged. And then plant your foot and release down. All right. All right, guys, thank you for watching the muscle activation workout. I hope you enjoyed that brief sample. There is a part two of that workout. So if you want to see that and much more, including workout programs, a workout library, and lots of cool support features to keep you motivated and engaged in the workouts, head on over to manfulyoga.com slash seven dash days. Get a trial to the Manful Yoga Workout Library. See what it's all about with unlimited access to everything. And if you're not already subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you are subscribed uh, we put out these workouts every Monday, as well as other helpful information regarding health, wellness, and fitness. All right, guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.